This week's pileup on I-81 brought to light broader issues with weather radar, including parts of the mid-state. Seth Kaplan joins us live with what a tornado in York last year has to do with this deadly string of wrecks that happened in Schuylkill County. Seth. Alicia, do you remember this story from late last week? Our meteorologists explaining to senior investigator Kendra Nichols how gaps in National Weather Service radar meant little warning before the pileup. Well, if that story caught your eye, you weren't alone. So then when I saw the ABC 27 story on your Facebook page, I said, hey, maybe we should talk to them. Shen Kreiser, who thinks about all kinds of emergencies. I'm the nuclear planner here at York County Emergency Management. She does weather, too. There was a tornado that actually was confirmed down in the Winterstown area in York County. Last August. But there was no tornado warning issued for it. That really, we started investigating. The question. Why did that happen? And we realized that. It never showed up on the radar. You can see that red blip indicating nasty weather, but nothing that screamed tornado to the National Weather Service. That's what led us to start to investigate what the radar coverage really looks like in York County. My immediate first concern last year was, you know, it's only a matter of time before this is going to have greater impacts. And then it did. Deadly consequences from the same problem York County had been investigating since last year. Other counties, too, including Lebanon. They kind of had the same idea at the same time because they also had a tornado that uh, was caught on video. This one between Fredericksburg and Myerstown. So yeah, Lebanon County and uh, York County have been working on this project since about November of last year, having discussions at the State Emergency Management Agency, Pima. Discussing what to do about areas that are about as far as you can get from the closest weather radar sites up in State College, down in Sterling, Virginia, way over there in Mount Holly, New Jersey. Alicia, the solution could include some combination of more radar and even the assistance of ham radio operators.